Guys, Dusty here again with another pickup video. I do apologize about how uh, abruptly the last one finished. I'll probably upload this one the day after that one. If I didn't, though, I'm sorry. But yeah, Bomberman <laughs> it was, it was a pickup. It was five bucks. And I fixed my video issues. Now I have 25 minutes of time to record, and hopefully I have enough time because I've got a lot of stuff to show you guys in this video. So that will go right on the DS shelf. Um, and that was actually a game from my childhood. I used to love freaking playing that Bomberman game because I like Bomberman. Um, it was cool. He had some games on the GameCube. It's great. Okay, so next up. Punch-Out Pickups, specifically PlayStation 2 Punch-Out Pickups. I'm going to try to center my camera here. Hopefully it doesn't make it worse. Okay. Um, yeah. We got PlayStation 2 games. <laughs> they had a bunch of PlayStation 2 games. Uh, for some reason, they've been pricing some of them for $3 and some of them for $2 nowadays. I don't know what their rhyme and reason is for that. But anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and show you um, in, I guess, no particular... Well. A little bit of a particular order. Anyway, we got Final Fantasy X-2. This one I already have, but I don't believe I had the um, non-greatest hits one complete. I think I might have had the greatest hits one uh, excluding the manual, but now I have it complete with the manual and everything, and I'll probably find my other one eventually. Right now, everything's such a mess, I don't want to try to... <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't even want to try. Okay, so, the next up, we got Kingdom Hearts uh, Chain of Memories. This one, I... Once again, I didn't think I had... I think I bought a rental copy from... Maybe I bought a rental copy from Family Video or something at one point. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, I didn't have the manual with it. Now I do have the manual with it. So, $2.99. Why not? Kingdom Hearts. Okay, and then next up, a game that I did not have. We got uh, Dirge, of Cerber <laughs> Dirge of Cerberus Final Fantasy VII. This is one of the many Final Fantasy VII spinoffs. From what I hear, this one's actually a fairly good game. Um, so, yeah, it was, uh, once again, $2.99. All of those were $2.99, uh, which I'll, I'll pay that for games like this. And, yeah, it's it's complete and decent shape. I think there were a couple scratches on the disc, but, yeah, not a huge deal. Um, for a game that I didn't already have and that you kind of got to have um, and that I don't have space for. That's great. Okay, next up, we got um, the only non-complete game in this stack, Way of the Samurai 2 uh, for the PlayStation 2. Uh, it was $2.99. It's worth $2.99 with just the manual. I mean, with just the disc and the case, not the manual. I think it's... I don't know. It's a it's a bizarre game. It goes anywhere from $10 to $20, so... It doesn't really matter if it has a manual or not. Just $10 to $20, but yeah. Disc and case are in fairly decent shape. Yeah, it's just missing the manual, which is kind of unfortunate. But, uh, I try not to buy PlayStation 2 games missing the manual. However, if they're, if they're good enough games or if they're, you know... If they're worth it, I'll usually buy them. Um, and if I don't have any space for them, then I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, okay. Put this one right here, I guess. We are really going to have to figure out a space situation for games. Anyway, next up we got uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! The Duelists of the Roses. Um, yeah, uh, this one, from what I hear, is actually a very good game. Um, I've I've actually heard a lot of the Yu-Gi-Oh! games are really good. And they're developed by Konami. Um, I'm trying to figure out if the games came first or if the anime came first or the card game came first. Which one came first? Uh, I don't know, but uh, yeah, it's Yu-Gi-Oh! And from what I hear, this is a good game in all of the... Um, Attack animations and everything is 3d animated in this game all the all the cards and whatnot So yeah from what I hear this is this is a game that people really seem to like so I might I might have to play this uh, At some point, but for now it goes on this random spot in the shelf and then last but not least we got Grandia 3 um, Yeah, Grandia 3 we just happened to find that and by the way all those were $2.99 the only one that was $1.99 was this one I don't get it. I think this is like a $20 game, but $1.99? All of those other ones were probably less valuable. $2.99. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, um, nonetheless, it's Grandia 3. It has both discs, which is a two-disc PlayStation 2 game. You don't see that very often. Um, yeah, it's manual. Manual's in nice shape. Is it color? It's color. Ooh, I love color manuals. Nowadays, I just love manuals in general. If I can, if I can get my hand on a manual of a modern game, then that's pretty cool. But you know, 
Remember when, remember when we used to think they were cheaping out if they didn't include a color manual? Now we think they're cheaping out if they just don't include a manual at all, because heck, that's not necessary, right? But anyway, uh, I suppose we should go on to the next pickups. What, what are the next pickups? Well, the next pickups are... Garage sale pickups! Yes, the garage sale season has finally begun! Woo! Yes! Um, and this is actually the second garage sale of the season. One, the first one almost doesn't count. It was just almost nothing. Like, seriously, it was, it was, it was sucky. There was just, just about nothing at the garage sale. But, the first, the first real garage sale of the season had some pretty cool stuff. Um, for one, it actually had, let me just grab my Pokemon card collection here. Oh. It gets heavier and heavier every year. But yeah, my Pokemon card collection. Um, it had... These. For those of you who are into Pokemon cards, you'll be used to saying... <laughs> yeah, and unfortunately, the, the bulk of cards was kind of expensive. But also, it came with these. All of these. All of these Shadowless cards. All of these Shadowless cards. And a bunch of other cards. Paid 45 bu bucks for the whole lot of them. I probably shouldn't just be bending and mangling all of these up. I should probably put this in two binders now, but... Oh. Yeah, nonetheless, I do kind of casually collect Pokemon cards. I don't know, let me let me know, guys, if you if you want to see... Um, if you want to see... Uh, kind of tour of my Pokemon card collection. But anyway, just random, random fill and thing. I know this is about video games, and Pokemon's kind of a video game, right? So anyway, we found we found a five dollar box of fun here, um, guys. For those of you watching the channel, you will know that this is something I've been looking for for a very, very, very long time, and I'm very, very excited to have. So let's just, yeah. This box, five bucks. Unfortunately, they knew about the Pokemon cards, so they. So I could only talk them down to forty-five dollars, but I figure with the Red Cheeks Pikachu and with the uh, um, with the uh, Match Oak uh, First Edition, that you know that's that's easy, just right there, probably forty bucks. And they're all in like collector grade condition, you know. They're all probably um, you know sevens to tens, so uh, probably no tens, just like sevens to nines, maybe. But anyway. And they're even in protective sleeves. Like some, uh, like some of the nicer ones are even in protective sleeves. Whoever, whoever collected those Pokemon cards probably knew what they had, kind of. But anyway, okay. Um, where do we begin? Well, let's begin by showing you some of these games. For one thing, we have Hunt and Score, one of the most generically <laughs> named games for the Atari 2600. But nonetheless, it is a 2600 game. Uh, I am somewhat lacking in 2600 games, um, I, and part of that is because I didn't own an Atari 2600, but here's a, here's a tour of my prior Atari 2600 collection. So, yeah, now I have more than that. Um, and I will show you what more I have than that, or something like that. What, whatever I was meaning to say, but word salad just happened to happen. Yeah, we'll hunt and score right there. And next up, we got Chopper Command. And we got basketball. Kangaroo. Combat. The the different This is a different combat, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's a different combat. The the other combat. One of the other combats. I think there were like 35 billion versions of it. This is Nine Tell Games Maze. We are now out of room for Atari 2600 games. Okay, this is actually an upgrade to my copy of Sword Quest Earthworld. So, I'll remove my Sword Quest Earthworld from my shelf. And this will go... I, don't, I actually don't know what you'd do with duplicate Atari 2600 games. They're almost valueless, so, you know. Nonetheless, I, I, I have still been looking for Atari games for the longest time. I probably shouldn't put these on the shelves now that I think about it. They need to all be cleaned off. So, what's the point anyway? Um, yeah. We're just going to go ahead and put them off to the side here. They're all covered in dust. This was in someone's attic. This is probably left outside for years. Like, it's it's just covered, everything covered in dust. But, you know, we'll, 
We'll get it back to its former glory. Uh, we got Defender. Of course. Berserk. Missile Command. Atlantis. Preferably the $8,000 uh, competitive cartridge, but, um, you know, this is probably just a regular copy of Atlantis. Star Raiders. Baseball. Bowling. Vanguard. Pac-Man, which I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I, I never had Pac-Man before, did I? So now I guess I have this. Still do not have E.T., by the way. That's, that's a game that I've managed to not have. Slot Racers. Astro Blast. Yars Revenge. Um, quite possibly my favorite Atari 2600 game besides Joust. I think there was a version of it. Actually, I'm not sure if I've... Okay, so I, I love Joust. I'm pretty sure there's an Atari 2600 version of it. I just can't remember if the Atari 2600 version of Joust is good. I love the arcade version, but I, I don't know. My Atari 2600 knowledge isn't very good. I haven't had an Atari 2600 forever. We got Tron Deadly Discs, kind of a harder to find Atari 2600 game. And when I say harder to find, that one's probably the only one you could actually find feasible selling on eBay. <laughs> but uh, nonetheless, I, I've just bought all these games, of course, so that I can play them because I, I'm a collector first. And I, I, I'm just, I'm excited because I've never had an Atari 2600. And, and, and now, well, actually, I'll show you first an Ace controller and a second Ace controller. Yeah, these are... Most people find them actually better than the regular Atari 2600 controller. I have one of the flashback controllers that are like the regular non-wireless ones. So if I don't like these ones, but yeah, um, these seem fine from what I feel. Besides all the dirt, ugh, I gotta really clean all this stuff off. And we also got a video touchpad, which is cool. I think one of the games in there requires a video touchpad. And then we got... This baby. Oh yeah, the Atari 2600. My favorite version of the Atari 2600, because as much as I do like wood grain, I also like things to look, you know, somewhat modern in, like, my video game setups, and this, this is probably the most modern looking version of the Atari 2600. The Darth Vader, as it's called. And yeah, it's, it's the four switch plus two switch on the back, so it has all six switches. Um... You have the right and left controller on the back, and you also have channel switch, which is cool. Uh, and yeah, all of five dollars for that. Woo! Yeah. Uh, anyway. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna put all of these back in here, quick, and wash them. Event. My hands are just like grimy from touching all this stuff. I really have to get around to washing these. And then we got the other garage sale pickups. Yes, there's actually more garage sale pickups than that. So um, I went to another garage sale. It didn't look too promising. They had a bundle like Wii stuff for $100. So I was like, oh, great. Um, something that I don't really need to have. And then all of a sudden I saw this nice little stack of what is mostly PlayStation 1 games. So I went ahead and grabbed the stack. They didn't have a price on it. I brought it up to the guy and he's like, oh, uh, make me an offer on it. I'm like, I don't know. And then um, <laughs> he, he talked to someone else at the sale wondering who the heck these were. And then they said, no, they're, they're, this old lady said they were hers. And um, yeah, she asked me, well, how much do you want to pay for them? And I, I don't know. And I, I just said like five bucks. And they were like, okay, yeah, that's fine. Uh, so five bucks for the stack of games. Not too bad. I mean, alone right up front here, we have, if we get the rubber bands off, we've got Contra Legacy of War in fairly good shape, um, including the disc in the case. I think this is about a 10 to $15 game, so that's about worth it right there. 
Then we got 007 Tomorrow Never Dies. I don't think I had a complete copy of this, so another one to add to the collection. Then we have, um, I mean, you can't beat this. It's Spycraft, but if, if you look at it, it says, The Great Game. At least we know it's good. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's just, if you call your game The Great Game, it's gotta be a good game, right? I mean, come on. Of course. Where am I putting this? Oh, great, my jewel case game area is full. I'll just put it on top of my Star Trek cassettes. Anyway, um, then we got... NBA Live 98. Uh, Konami's in the zone. Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. I don't actually believe I had this before. Or I have it and I just have a bad memory. Either one. Could be either. WCW Nitro. Again, same thing. I'm not sure if I have this one. But it does have an NCWO. And, uh, NCW. NWO. Sticker on it, so WCW Nitro. It's cool, I suppose. And then we also got uh, Command and Conquer Red Alert. So yeah, not too bad of a stack of games. And this is disc two, so I don't know what happened to disc one, but that's okay, I guess. Okay, and then next up, we went to the next sale and there was nothing, but the sale after that. They had a bunch of PC games, and within those PC games, no, nothing too interesting for PC games, they were all jewel case, but um, within those games were some PlayStation 1 games, so we managed to pick up some of those. For one thing, we got um, You Don't Know Jack for the PlayStation 1. Um, of course, this is two discs, and um, the case it's in is in very bad condition, but the discs are okay, despite the fact they've just been rattling around this case in a blockbuster video sticker. That kind of sucks, but nonetheless, they wanted a buck a piece for these ones, so I figured might as well have the You Don't Know Jack for the PlayStation. Um, kind of always been interested in those games, because I've heard they're very good trivia games. And we also got Dune 2000, another Westwood Studios game. Um, yeah, it's complete, in good shape, so for a buck. I'll pretty much buy any non-sports game for the PlayStation 1 for a dollar, so. And, uh, and we also got... Um, 3D Fighting with a Vengeance, The Crow, City of Angels, never heard of this game either, uh, same with Dune. Um, once again, a dollar, figured why not. Um, apparently, it also has a piece of paper in there. Um, don't read this piece of it, no, I'm joking. Um, it's got all kinds of codes on it. So, you can, you can feel free, if, if you have this game, you can feel free to use these codes. Um... See if we can put this back. I like leaving these little things with the games just because it gives them more character. I, you know, I like, I like the history behind my games. I, I don't like to get rid of too many things as far as the games go. Um, and then I also got, of course, Evil Dead, Hail to the King. And I've actually kind of heard this game, um, of this game, sort of. Um, I heard that they did actually get Bruce Campbell to do the voice work, and I've heard a lot of this is actually just original stuff. So, that's pretty cool. It's two discs. Let's see if we can open to the other disc. Yep. Two discs. And it also has more codes. Which is always exciting. Remember back when you, uh, back when you only had internet at the library or at school and you had to write cheat codes down? That, that, those were the days. And, and remember when... I wasn't around during this time, but remember when you had to use magazines to to get your cheat codes? That was that was crazy stuff. Yeah, back in the back in the day, right? Yeah. Um. Anyway, Evil Dead, PlayStation One, a dollar. Okay. Now these next pickups are not garage sale pickups. They are Goodwill pickups. They actually happened a couple hours ago. Um. So. Yeah, go ahead and start with the first games that I found there. PlayStation 2 games, two bucks. You might as well go ahead and pick up Pac-Man World Rally. I didn't have it before, two bucks. It's in immaculate condition, so. For the most part, for a PlayStation 2 game that I don't have, as long as it's not something really stupid, um, I'll probably pay two dollars for it. Um, because at this point, I'm almost thinking about going for a full PlayStation 2 set. I mean, I have what? 250-ish PlayStation 2 games. There's only, what, like around a thousand? I'm like a quarter of the way there. So, I mean, that's, <laughs> might as well go for it. Um, uh, where 
do I even, oh, over here, there we go. And then we also got Virtual, Virtual Evolution, Virtual Fighter 4, Fighting 4. This, this game, Virtual Fighter 4 Evolution. They really, they really made the title easy to follow on the front of the case, if you couldn't tell. But yeah, um, it's complete. Once again, immaculate condition. So, for two bucks, despite the fact it's greatest hit of all added to the collection. And then we also got this. Gravis Pro USB controller. Um, yeah. It's, it's a Gravis controller. These are kind of these are kind of classically ingrained into the PC community's um, their, their their heads. So uh, yeah, in in one of the funny things about this, which unfortunately mine did not include, was the doofy little um, joystick thing that you screw into the D-pad and it makes it into a joystick. It's, it's funny. Um, I don't think mine included it, but it does have the disc with like drivers and stuff. It's got a manual, quick install manual. It's got EA Sports that's in the game, or like a pamphlet for advertisement or something like that. Unfortunately, once again, no, um, no, uh, oh, excuse me, no, uh, doohickey that goes on the D-pad, but yeah, still, it's fine. It was three bucks, figured why not. So now, just put this away. And yeah, this will go somewhere and take up space. So yeah, this has been Dusty with all of the pickups for this video. Um, yeah, hopefully we strike more at the garage sales. I'm also planning on starting recording a series uh, where I um, do some garage sale and, you know, that kind of thing, tips and tricks. So um, if you guys are interested in watching that, that should be coming out soon. But for now, this has been Dusty. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Take it easy.